Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm Secrets Gaming and welcome to part 2 of the how to create secret slash hidden weapons in Black Ops Cold War. You guys showed so much support in part 1 that you left me with no choice but to show you guys even more hidden weapons that you can create. And anytime if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to see for the like button for everything Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn notification bell and join the notification squad. And with that being said, let's get into it. And what better way to start this video than to use one of the most overpowered weapons in Black Ops Cold War, the MP5 and turn it into the MP5K, which appeared in Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1. Now to create the MP5K, it's actually quite simple, all you need is 3 attachments and that is the barrel you need the 9.1 inch rifle for the under barrel you need the bruiser grip under barrel and lastly for the stock all you need is the no stock attachment using these three attachments will turn your mp5 into the mp5k and as you guys know the mp5 is already overpowered so if you create the mp5k and use it you already know it's gonna be a beast of a weapon Now we move on to the sniper rifle class and to create the R700 sniper from COD 4 Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2019 you need to be using the Pelton 703 sniper and just like the MP5K you only need 3 attachments for the barrel you need the 25 inch extended for the under barrel you need the front grip and lastly for the handle you need the airborne elastic wrap to give it the R700 look and that's it you're done as you guys know snipers are kind of OP in Black Ops Cold War and once again just like the MP5K if you make the R700 sniper you know it's gonna be a beast of a weapon Now we move back to the SMG class and I'll be showing you guys how to create the Caparis SMG which only appeared once in Call of Duty history and that was in Black Ops 1. And even then to unlock this weapon you had to buy all the other SMGs first and then you would unlock the Caparis. Now all you need to create the Caparis is to be using the KSP45 and this one you actually need to use the full 5 attachments. For the muzzle you need to be using the muzzle brake 45 APC. For the barrel you need to be using the 9.5 inch Ranger. And we move to the magazine you need to be using the Vandal Speed Loader magazine. For the handle you need the drop shot wrap and lastly for the stock you need the no stock attachment and there you go using these attachments will give you the same look as the black ops 1 caparis use it in game and see if you like it or not Now let's move to the other end of the spectrum by showing you a weapon that appeared in pretty much all Call of Duty games so far and that is none other than the Galil. To make the Galil in Black Ops Cold War you need to be using the Creek 6 Assault Rifle. You will need to use 4 attachments to make the Galil in Black Ops Cold War. First of all you need the barrel which is the 19.7 inch takedown. You will also need the under barrel, the foregrip. You will need the magazine which is the Stanag 50 round. And lastly for the stock you will need the Duster stock. Like I said the Galil has appeared in all the previous 4 Black Ops games and now you can add a 5th one by creating it in Black Ops Cold War. War. As you guys know the Creek 6 is absolutely overpowered in Black Ops Cold War, it's a laser over weapon so if you create the Galil and use it you know you will be doing some damage because it is overpowered. Make sure you guys create these hidden weapons and use them in game and tell me if you like them or no. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to watch my previous video, make sure to click the video on the screen. If you guys want to see more of these videos, then make sure to see for the like button for everything. Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and join the notification squad. And I'll catch you guys later.